Eric Barber with Occupy Buffalo. Um, it's always a pleasure to be at a public hearing for the Erie County Real Estate Development Corp uh, Agency, or is it Erie County Commercial Development Agency? Because it's definitely not Erie County Industrial Development Agency, or else we wouldn't be sitting here at the public hearing for 42 upscale apartment units. Um, I'm very happy for Mr. Palladino's success in life, um, $150 million net worth, and almost $15 million of that coming directly from tax breaks over the past decade from industrial development agencies throughout the area. Um, so those um, abatements have been very successful in boosting his net worth by 10%. Um, let's see, where to begin? Um, I mean, I could go on about uh, Mr. Palladino's statements to James Fink about how this uh, Greystone project is incurring more costs than he previously thought, and sitting on the property for as long as he has, letting it become more and more dilapidated, I'm sure had no impact on that whatsoever. And because this is a transcript where most of the board is not present, that was incredible sarcasm. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Mr. Palladino made some very nice statements um, a couple months ago about sort of wastefulness in industrial development agencies and pointed out the fact that, you know, <coughs> when you have a business that isn't in threat of relocating to Scranton, Pennsylvania, I believe was his exact words, then giving them a tax abatement is just pure <coughs> waste because they're gonna stay in the area regardless. And I'm very curious if the Ellicottville Development uh, Company uh, is considering relocating the Greystone Hotel to Scranton or out uh, of the country if this project doesn't go through. I'm also wondering if um, he doesn't get this tax abatement and is unable to go ahead with the project, if he'd be in, if he'd be interested in selling that property to the city for ten dollars, so the city can then resell it for a million dollars, as the city previously purchased the property for a million dollars and resold it to him for ten dollars. So that'd be a nice returning of the favor. Um, yeah, I mean. Like so many of these projects, this is honestly, it's a joke that this is even on. It's gonna be brought to the board for a vote for passing because there's no sustainable job that is going to be created from this whatsoever. Um, that There's no comp global competition that the Greystone Hotel is competing against. And this idea that um, <coughs> Mr. Palladino should never be subject to risk in investment um, I think is ludicrous. And I think if Mr. Palladino was talking about anyone other than himself, he would say let the free market decide what projects get built and what projects don't get built. Um, because you know, then you have winners and losers based on people's individual successes and individual um, visions. But this notion that every developer needs to be guaranteed a profit by the IDA um, is for one a joke. And secondly, the vast majority of these projects are already extremely profitable, and there's no, re they don't pay that money back when the pro um, the, they make more money than they suggest um, when asking for the money. So it just seems kind of ridiculous that this is even being considered. But I know that it's been standard practice to offer these type of projects, and you know, the, this isn't going to be the last um, upscale apartment complex to come through the IDA because it's still not an industrial development agency. It's primarily a real estate development agency and a commercial development agency. And it's really just raiding um, the, the county coffers and taking money out of education that desperately needs it. And out of, out of projects and transportation that desperately need it, just to line the pockets of a very wealthy individual that's all I have to say. <laughs>